and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town. And we're here today to accept a very generous check from uh, Freehold... Foodstock. Help, Freehold Foodstock. That's a private entity or is that con uh, connected to the government? No, we are a 503C. Right. Come on, you're so, accountants. Come on. But, yeah, we're <laughs> accountants. That's funny. I'm going to introduce uh, Henry Lubis here. He's with Foodstock at a Freehold. Uh, Henry and I worked together at a CPA firm in the 80s, believe it or not, way back in Newark at Arthur Young and Company. Let me turn it over to Henry and please give me the history of Woodstock. The reason, well, we know each other, but we hadn't seen each other in many years until uh, Henry's mother still lives in Woodbridge. Sure she's, does. oh man, what a, yeah, so she's terrific. So Henry at some point reached out to us to borrow the stage for their big fundraising event, and we gave it to him, and we give it to him every year. We're proud to do that because we care about, about We Feed Woodbridge. So let me turn it over to Henry and say all you can about uh, food stock. Uh, thank you, John. It's uh, it's great to be back in Woodbridge. It is the best town around. There you go. Even you though, even live here. I, I, I live in Freehold now. I was born here, and I'm, I still consider myself a Woodbridge resident, and it is the best town around, so thank you. So in uh, Freehold, a bunch of uh, people... Uh, decided a number of years ago to do some fundraise food raising events and it culminates in what we call food stock it's an event that happens every october we're hopeful to have it october 17th this year in freehold and we've raised um, hundreds of thousands of pounds of food over the years last year was 125,000 pounds if i remember correctly how do you do that uh through neighborhood collections through the schools through just but private donations one big, giant drive? it's one big bright Oh, throughout the year, oh, we do a number, okay. but it culminates in one big event that we all come and collect the food at that event. Right. Um, our slogan is to, um, you know, <clears throat> transfer food from those who are very fortunate to le those who are less fortunate, and also to get uh, younger generations involved. Many of our volunteers are high school students, uh, grammar school students, many looking for... Um, uh, uh, s thank you. <laughs> Community service hours. And uh, we have some of those fine young people right here with us today that help us out. Um, but we, we, we distribute the food to um, food banks throughout or food pantries throughout the region. Um, not just Freehold. But not just Freehold. Lunch Break in Red, in Red Bank is a big uh, recipient. Uh, open door and freehold, and we've even helped the St. James Pantry here in Woodbridge many times That's with hometown, uh, it's my hometown yeah. parish, and we were happy to do that. This year we've raised, uh, with COVID, we seem to be raising more money than food, so we wanted to just pay back to the people of Woodbridge um, with the We Feed Woodbridge, and we have a check for you guys right here, um, and it's for $3,000, and we're very happy and pleased to present that to you guys. And this is a terrific contribution. You know, we, we live in increments of you know 10 50 100 occasionally a thousand dollars but this is a, a three thousand dollar check which is just amazing so how did how did the freehold expert start uh it, idea was it, it actually was bob swisher he's uh the our, our illustrious leader right. his daughter about 11 years ago yep. um was at saint john vianney in in um in homedale and needed community service hours so she was volunteering at lunch break and she found out that the food pantries were barren Okay. Uh, at the time. So she decided to have a backyard event. We called it a ton of fun. Our objective was to raise uh, 2,000 pounds of food. Um, we wound up with bands and we wound up 6,000 pounds of food that first year. All and right. we said, you know what, this is such a great thing. We just need to continue it and, and make it on a much bigger scale. And how many years now have you been doing it? Uh, this will be our 11th year okay. um, that we're doing it. Last uh, year we, you know, we had probably 600 people. Wow. In an event like this, um, with bands contributing their time, uh, vendors contributing their time, and uh, um, like I said, we've collected, if you don't know what 125,000 pounds of food looks like, think of um, two or three big, full, semi-tractor trailers really? worth of food. Wow. So we've done that, uh, we've done that last year, and uh, this year's going to be a little challenging for us, of course, with everything else going on with COVID, but we're hopeful to have an event again this year. Um, and collect what we can for the for the pantries. So, and we're happy to contribute to We Feed Woodbridge. Well, we appreciate it. You have three of your, uh, what are you guys, middle school or high school, the three of you? I'm going into high school. Take a I'm going into high school. And tell me why you get involved in food stuff. Um, I do it to like help people who like can't like get food and like need like food to like eat and stuff. Yep. All right, how about you? you um, I do it to get service hours and also to help people who are less fortunate. I guess though, if you probably hit your service hours, don't you pretty much keep going and do more than you need to? Yeah. How about you? Where do you go to school? Where do I go to school? I know. I know. 
So, so, so back in the day so when she I, went right. to Woodbridge High, right. she volunteered. Uh, right, to help and the here people. I am. And I'm finally getting my goal. I'm finally getting to do what I've always wanted to do. But I do it because it's an awesome thing, and we get a lot of food to a lot of people in need. And Henry and I, we're passionate about some things, and it's about people should not be hungry. So that's why we do it. Mr. Head of this, you want to say anything? Uh, no, I'm just very happy. Uh, we got a good group of people. We love to share it with people like you, and we hope to be continuous for many years to come. And again, thank you very much for the stage each year. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And we have with us Councilwoman Nancy Drum, who, as you say, knows uh, Mrs. Lubis. Um, and you're the councilman for Woodbridge and Sea Warner, which means where you guys all grew up, she would have been your councilwoman woman if you were still here. I so might anyway. Have voted for it too. You might have. And uh, Henry and I went to St. James together. We went all through K through eight, uh, all through high school. Betty Jane Balka. She married Henry. They met in high school. She used to date my brother. <laughs> I know you. I know you knew oh, that. Yeah. I'm really going whipper on you here, yeah, but family oh trouble here. I just want to say thank you so much. The collaboration between your organization and Woodbridge Township. We are so passionate. The mayor and Peter and everyone here about feeding the hungry, like Bet just said. Um, you came back home, you came back to Woodbridge. We love it, we love you for it. Thank you very much, and to the volunteers, we always appreciate your help, and you understanding the significance of what you're doing is uh, amazing, so thank you so much. And boys and girls, this is Peter. Like, you got this guy, we got this guy. So <laughs> let me ask Peter, he's been doing this since 1992. It's called We Feed Woodbridge. Uh, we do, we raise money at the, uh, we raise food at the concerts. We have everybody, or whoever will, bring a can or box of non-perishable food, and with that they get a ticket for a, a TV. And you bring six bags of food, six uh, cans of food, you get six tickets. At halftime of the show, we call the winner, and it's really, it really probably, what, 40,000? 60,000. 60,000. So let me ask Peter to say a few words. Yeah, thank you very much, Henry. Thank you very much uh, for food stock. Um, again, as the mayor says, Weefy Woodbridge was founded in 92. I founded it in 1992. Uh, we are a network of 11 food pantries in town. Uh, we feed pre pre pandemic. We were feeding about 600 families. Post pandemic, we're well over a thousand families right now uh, per month. Um, so this concert series that we do here every night, we collect the food on the five nights a week, brings in about 60,000 pounds plus. And, and so, uh, you know, it, it's, it actually sustains our food pantries during the summer months at that point where our collections are lower. And now, and especially now with the pandemic at that point, we've had a wonderful uh, fundraiser as far as money is concerned. So our pantries received a great infusion of money, which helps them as well and, you know, helps us whatever needs what you know oh, absolutely yeah, yeah. absolutely well, you so gotta buy, you gotta buy the uh, the cheese and the milk and right. the, the yeah. 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 and all our pantries belong to the community food bank at hillside so we tap okay. into the community food bank at hillside so food is brought down here several times a month to our pantries as well as what comes in from the food drives and from the community as a whole so um, i mean we've been we've been fortunate that we've haven't missed a beat during the pandemic our pantries are full uh, full service um, so we appreciate the donation. It will go to be, you know, divided amongst our pantries and. Uh, so, so mayor, so the sort of thing I've heard is Somerset County and Union County are having competition between the towns. Oh, bring it on, man! Okay, so towns. Like, bring it on! So what I do is I, I buy trophies for the winning town. Is it the whole year or just one event? Well, we, try to, we try to do it over a month. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll give you a call. I picked okay. February. Yeah, I'm just I picked say. February. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going to compete against? Them? Nobody. We just take the title. Yeah, you got to pick a town. To get you got to defeat somebody. I'll, we do. We do have who, a heart. Who would you really like to crush? Freehold. Oh. <laughs> no way. Oh. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. Bigger than we are. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Not bigger than we are. That'd be area wide, right? Then we got more people. Okay. No, I got a ton of friends in Freehold. All my friends from uh, South Amboy and uh, yes. they all moved down to Freehold. But no, we will pick. We do. We do have a heart. Okay. So we call it, we do it after Christmas, we do 214, February 14th, Valentine's Day, donate 214 pounds of food or $214. Wow. So that's why we picked February. We got a good shot here. We got a good shot. <laughs> but we don't want to challenge Freehold. We, it's okay. You come in second. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Although I can't, no, no, no. Now, in fairness, I, we cannot compete with 125 125,000 pounds in one weekend, easy. one event. No, no, one, no, month, no, one, month, one month, one month, one month. You can do that. You can month. Do that easily. Easily. <laughs> Usually, usually in February we raise about thirty thousand pounds. Yeah. But you're not even trying. But we raise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, 
This guy's good, man. This guy's good. Well, we'll figure something out. So how long have you been um, using our stage now? How many years? Uh, about three years now. So how did you, you just came to a show or something, didn't you? I, I, you know, I, I, I'm a big music guy. Um, I, Bill Brandenburg is, you know, I follow him on Facebook. I see all the shows he puts on. I come up often. And I see the stage, and one day I'm sitting. We we've done everything from built stages out of two by fours and and plywood to written risers for uh -huh. like you know. And when I you saw can't this, beat this. I said, "This is unbelievable." Yeah. And I called you up, and you were happy enough to. So do I it. we I, I left Dart the Young in '88. When did you leave? Uh, a few years before that. Before that, so yeah, we so worked about three years I was there. So I probably didn't see you for how many years? Twenty years? Oh, More than twenty years? Yeah, yeah. And I guess it was the concert where we met. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. see, music brings people together. And, and, and this is the best town around because this music, there are no concerts anywhere, in in this whole state. Um, and I guess I, I see Bill at concerts all around the state, and I haven't seen him in a year. Well, hold on, it's the mayor Freehold. Can you re can you repeat what you said about Woodbridge being the best town around? Hold on, Mr. Mayor. This is Henry Lubis. Yes, he lives in your town. I'll get his address. You can raise his taxes. I got it. We're a township, so, so that's okay. So are we, so are we. Oh, anyway, we yeah, go ahead. I just want to, I work at the Chamber of Commerce, and, and the mayor was talking about the Have a Heart and Peter, and it's wonderful. We have so many local businesses that almost, like, compete with each other. Who's raising more? So that's very significant. And during the pandemic, in addition to all the food that drives that we had and all the, the food that we raised, we also did, um, we did gift cards to our local eateries to support our local businesses and then we gave them out to some of our food pantry clients. So I just wanted to add that in there, which uh, is really, really important. Thank you. And I just want to add one thing. I'm not, I'm not bragging, except yes, I am. Um, <laughs> the Halpern family, which you've probably heard of, the Atlantic Realty, they own apartments all over Woodbridge and they own apartments, own apartments all over Middlesex County. About a month ago, they literally gave us, I'm not exaggerating, $100,000 for the food pantries. Ten different businesses each gave a check for 10000 We held it quiet. We announced it yesterday on. We do an announcement on the virus every Monday and Friday. Right. They didn't even want me to announce it was 100000 which I just did, but they're probably going to get mad at me. But I announced <laughs> it to, as a sizable contribution. But when they said, what can we do? We want to do something substantial. I mean, like Peter said, 600 to 1,000 families. Yeah, you can do so much We're going to run out. We're going to so run out. That. And the other thing. Infrastructure as well. You know, our pantries are older infrastructure. Yeah, true. So there's infrastructure. We have no vehicle. So uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of ideas in our heads as to how we allocate that money, as well as for the food. So it will it will take us into the future. Well, it will take us into the future for a very long time. Absolutely, absolutely. The other thing we're doing is maybe you look at it with your town. Is that there's more money because of the virus for what they call the CDBG program, Community Development Block Grant. We are we made a deal. The Island Knight of uh, Island. That's my council. The Woodbridge Knights of Columbus. You might of uh, you a knight. Nope. No, I know plenty of them. You know plenty of them, right? You probably know a whole lot of them. Um, they, um, they were asking us, you know, what can we, what can we do to help them, and you know, with the not making money in their halls, no one's renting for christenings and weddings, so we are renting some of their empty space and putting in freezers and refrigerators, and we're we bought the equipment, we'll buy the equipment, and we'll pay the rent with the CDBG funds. So it really is something you might want to check your mayor. You could talk to your mayor, and every town gets the CDBG funds. You know, Kevin, Kevin, he, he knows, so it's he, it's a he, great. He, he works for Marlboro. This is the grants for Marlboro. So he's got to know that. Yeah, thing. yeah. Oh, everybody gets the money. Right. And everybody's getting more money this year because of the virus. But I like to use one time money for a one time expense. So we buy the Smart freezers budget. and buy the uh, refrigerators, and we pay the rent, which isn't one time. But the point is, we, don't, we have. We turn down food because we have no place to store it. Right. If a refrigerated truck comes from somewhere, Wegmans with extra food, and we don't have room, now we can. So it's it's so. I'm so glad to hear another town cares about people uh, that, that are hungry as much as we do. It's really very heartwarming. So congratulations, Henry. Thank you, guys. You're gonna get a picture, Meg. Don't don't try to cash that one. No, no, no. <laughs> uh -huh. Thanks, Henry. Thank you, everybody. Get in, there. Ma, get in, get in. Squeeze in, squeeze in. Yeah. All right, Excellent. thanks everybody.